To watch this video in Hindi, go to the settings and select Hindi audio. Namaskar. Welcome back to Simplify Your Space. Winter has begun and it is starting to get cold these days. Bengaluru doesn't get as much cold as North India, but the mornings and evenings can be nippy. I enjoy sitting with a blanket or shawl soaking in the winter vibes. As the weather changes, it's time to get our house ready for winter. Let me show you how I have prepared my house. In Bengaluru, we don't usually need heavy winter clothes. But every year, I take out our winter clothes from storage and let them get some sunlight. This way, if we need to travel where it can be cold, our winter clothes are ready to go. Normally, here we just need sweatshirts and jackets which we keep in our closets throughout the year. Similarly, we don't need thick quilts or heavy blankets. Just light quilts are enough. In December and January, when it is a bit colder, I add a duvet cover to the quilt, giving it an extra layer for warmth. I got this duvet cover from IKEA and it's really good quality. During Diwali, I bought new floor mats made of velvet fabric. They are cozy and keep our feet warm. I place them outside all the bathrooms, so when we step inside, our feet feel nice and warm. In winter, keeping the room closed all the time can make it feel stuffy. It is important to open windows and doors for a while for the air circulation. Stagnant air tends to get more polluted. But this is not feasible if outside air quality is poor. Air purifiers are getting popular in households of national capital region where air pollution reaches worrisome levels in winter. I recently got hold on one for trial and I will talk about it in an upcoming video. When winter arrives, dry skin and hair become a problem. To prevent dryness, it is crucial to moisturize often. My family and I rely on coconut oil for this. I bought a large pack of coconut oil and divided it into smaller glass containers with wide mouths for easy pouring. I placed these containers in all the bathrooms and on the dressing table so we could use them after bathing. I also have a bottle of moisturizer on my bedside table to moisturize my hands and feet before sleeping. Another issue we face as winter sets in is drinking less water. To stay hydrated, I use insulated flask bottles to keep hot water. They keep the water warm for 8 to 10 hours. I place these bottles on the side table and my work desk. This way, even when I am busy with work, having the bottle nearby reminds me to drink water regularly. Taking care of plants in winter is essential, especially when there is less sunlight. In our main balcony, which gets lots of sunlight in summer but not much in winter, I move plants from there that need direct sunlight to the dining room window. Luckily, this window gets good sunlight during winters and many plants thrive there. I also relocate some plants to the bedroom balcony. The weather in Bengaluru is quite special. Sometimes clouds appear, casting shadows and then the sun comes out again, making it charmingly unpredictable. As the cold increases, we start needing shawls, light blankets and warm caps. So I have gathered a light blanket, a shawl and woolen caps in cane basket placed in the living room. It is handy for when we are watching TV or reading a book and it gets cold. 
Usually caps and shawls end up scattered around, but by keeping them in a basket, it is simpler to put them away after use and easier to find them when needed. Some preparation in the kitchen is necessary for winters too. I did not use the coffee machine much after the rain, but now that winter has arrived, it's time to start using it again. I cleaned it today and filled its container with fresh water. I will also bring out some appliances we mostly use in winters, like the curd maker. Normally setting curds in summers is easily, but in winters it takes longer. This curd maker helps speed up the process, making it very useful. Soup makers also become quite handy during winters. We have been having soup almost every day lately. This soup maker makes various types of soups and it is effortless to use. It allows us to enjoy restaurant style soups at home. If you are interested in a detailed review of this soup maker, stay tuned for its video on our channel. Drinking hot soup in winter is really enjoyable and nourishing. Now I will put away the clothes that I left outside to get some sunlight. Woolen clothes often gather this unwanted lint which don't look good. It is essential to deal with them. I use a fabric shaver to easily remove these lint. Properly maintaining clothes helps them last for years. Lastly, as winter arrives, it is important to maintain immunity against cold. It is crucial to include vitamin C in our diet. Amla, which is rich in vitamin C, is an excellent choice to incorporate during winters. Today, I will be making instant amla pickle, which is delicious. I started with 250 grams of amla. After thoroughly washing, I steamed them. While they are steaming, I prepared the pickle masala. In a pan, I roasted two spoons of mustard seeds. 1 spoon of cumin seeds, 1 spoon of coriander seeds, half a spoon of fenugreek seeds and half a spoon of fennel seeds until they were lightly roasted and emitted a lovely aroma. After turning off the heat, I let the mix cool down just a bit, keeping it slightly warm. Then I ground the spices. Once the amla were steamed and cooled, I broke them with my hands and removed the seeds. They naturally break into small pieces, so no need to cut them. In the same pan, I heated mustard oil until it was hot, then turned off the flame and let it sit for 2 minutes. Next, I added turmeric, red chilli powder, esafodita, dry mango powder to the oil, followed by salt and the pickle masala. I mixed everything well so that the spices coated the amla properly. I covered it and let it sit for 2 to 3 hours. Finally, I stored this pickle in a clean container in the refrigerator. Since it is an instant pickle, it needs to be refrigerated and can last comfortably for 15 to 20 days. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you all next week. Until then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.